Welcome back to Firefight Facts on Friday with me, Daniel, from the Vigil Guys. And this week, we're talking about another legendary icon in the world of gaming who I feel like I've done an FFF on. And I, once again, I could scroll through and look through. I'm sure he had him on the list. It, but he's not written down on the list. And I might have overlooked it and read it. I don't know. We're doing Crash Bandicoot. I feel like we've done it. So if we've done it, I'm, we're doing it again. I'm sorry. Visuals, enjoy. This Friday's FFF. What about Crash Bandicoot? Rawr. And this is the reason why I feel like I've done an FFF on Crash, but we're going to stick with it. I, again, I could scroll through, but I'm a lazy twat. But originally, eh, eh, you know, originally Crash Bandicoot was going to be a Wombat. I see, I feel like I've told you guys that before. I really do. But if, if, you, if I haven't, oh, what's that? Crash Bandicoot was going to be a Wombat. Aku was originally going to be able to fight. You were going to originally be able to use him to fight in the games. So that would be pretty cool. I mean, you kind of use him but technically, I guess, now. I am going to absolutely destroy your name. I do apologise, but Ken Kutagrigi, the father of PlayStation, originally hated Crush Bandicoot. He hated the idea that they needed a franchise sort of mascot and he hated Crash. Boy, was he so wrong. Crash Bandicoot is actually capable of human speech, but apparently when he talks, the creators and the people uh, over at, like, uh, it's not, remember Naughty Dog? Is that? I can't remember. The people over at Sony and stuff cannot stand how he talks, which to me makes no sense because why don't they just change how he talks? But apparently Crash can talk human, but the creators just hate it. Uh, Torna, I did not know his girlfriend was called Torna. There again, I'm, I'm not the biggest Crash person. Uh, but she, as a character, this is Crash's girlfriend, is based on Pamela Anderson. So Crash's girlfriend, Crash Bandicoot's girlfriend, is based on Pamela Anderson. Wouldn't you know? And there we go, visuals. That was this Friday's Five Fast Facts. If you did enjoy Wabuski and Wabuski, let me know in the comments below. Anybody you want Five Fast Facts on heading towards in the future, because we can surely get it done. Visuals, thank you so much for watching. Remember, keep being you and keep on keeping on. I'm very animated today.